Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and today we'll be moving on with our tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. Welcome to tutorial 9. We'll be adding in game sounds to our game where we play our game and uh, it will play, we'll have a certain audio being played in the background, you know, as you may see in games like Halo and. 007 multiplayer version. I'm not too sure about the single player version, but I'll be showing you guys how you can do that today. It's pretty much the basics of uh, audio sources, you know. Uh, yeah, let's get started. What you're going to want to do, if you're new, sorry, uh, you're going to need to go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one, you know, so you'll get a more better understanding of what's going on and how we arrived at this point, you know, in our game so if you've been following my previous tutorials you'll need to check for the link in the description below and download the packet today and import it into your project you should get a tutorial 9 assets folder within it there is a two folders in game sounds these are the sounds that we'll be using in our game during the play and the web some more sounds for your weapons someone requested uh, some more sounds for their weapons a few days ago so here they are you guys can use this however you see fit you're welcome so yeah let's get down to it and get some uh, sounds in our game now there are many ways you can do it but I've chosen the two simplest uh, ways I would usually uh, use uh, for adding sounds in my game so what you're gonna want to do first you can just this is the simplest method you can go to your first person uh, first person controller select the main camera and we're gonna add a component to it we're gonna go and audio and audio source good and all we need to do now is just go to our in-game sounds and just select one of the audio clips and just drag it where it says audio clip and we can just set this as loop and yeah you guys could use whatever sounds you like import sounds into your game it's pretty simple you just go select the sound wherever it is on your computer and just drag it into unity and it should be in here in your project so yeah it's pretty simple or you can just go and find a folder in your project wherever you store your project on your computer and just uh, go in the assets and just drag it in there and it will be in your project so yeah we can just go ahead and hit play and um, let me just take this off of mute so you guys can hear what's going on as you guys can hear it's playing a audio clip but you may have noticed that it's playing a little bit too loud so we are going to just take the volume down a bit you know let's go around there that's pretty good and yeah we have an in-game sound for our game it's pretty simple yeah so that's that now there's another method you can use to um, get some sounds in your game so let's say for example enemies are gonna be well the enemies as I showed you guys we can spawn enemies in our game so let's say your enemies are spawned on this side of the terrain and uh, you're gonna be this is your hometown let's say this is your part of the island yeah so we're gonna want the sound to play here and we're gonna want the sound to play here so when we leave our sound our uh, area or domain of the terrain and we go into enemy territory it's gonna play a certain sound well we'll get an idea that you know trouble is around the corner so we should stay on our guard so I'll show you guys I can do that pretty quickly as I told you guys this is pretty basic you know we'll just go ahead add a component sorry uh, right click and go and create empty game object and we're gonna rename this here to audio one good stuff and yeah we're gonna duplicate this sorry we're not going to duplicate it yet we're gonna just go and add another component to it add a component to it and we're gonna uh, go to audio and audio sources good stuff and we're gonna go to the tutorial 9 assets folder once again and we're gonna open it up and we're gonna select this here and just uh, drop a clip there good stuff now these are some stuff that you'll need to uh, know uh, minimum distance and the max distance as you may see 
in the uh, 3D settings there's a minimum distance and the max distance now let me just bring the max distance in a bit the max distance is pretty large yeah takes over the terrain by a long range yes yeah, so yeah now the minimum distance I'll just bring this out a bit and I'll explain it for you guys pretty quickly now the minimum distance this basically means once the player is within the circle the audio clip that we selected for to, to play it's going to play at a loud uh, volume but once we're outside this circle it's going to start to fade until we leave the circle and it wouldn't play anymore so I'll just put that into effect and show you guys pretty quickly now uh, let's carry that like that and just put it like this and just drop this cross here and bring this a little back good stuff now uh, we're gonna go and deal with the roll off now you know the volume roll off now there is the logarithmic, the linear, and the custom roll-off. Now, uh, you can decide what roll-off suits you. If you want it to roll-off in a curve, or you want it to roll-off linearly, which would be the straight line, or you want to just make a roll-off of your own. We're going to just go ahead and do that. Good stuff. And yeah, once we've done that, we'll just select after we selected the custom roll off we'll just go and put this on loop and we'll hit play and uh, you should notice oh one last thing you should remember to disable the audio uh, on your the audio source on your main camera so we'll see it in effect now we'll just go into our domain as you can see in the scene view above once we're in the domain you can hear the audio slowly starts to play and as we enter it stays equally loud and as we leave it starts to fade Good stuff so that's what I was telling you guys about now the uh, other settings here like the panning level and so forth this basically deals with the sounds between your earpiece if you're wearing an earphone you know you're going to hear the sound starting to shift between your earphones so you guys can play around with that down here I think yeah you guys can play around with it set it however you know custom roll off set it however and uh, yeah the Doppler level this basically if we increase this I'd recommend you leave it at one there or zero but we'll leave it at one if you increase this you know it's going to actually speed up the sound whilst we're walking and when we stop it will go back to its original state and once we're walking or sprinting the sound will start to play pretty fast and it won't sound pretty good so I'd recommend you leave this as is the uh, the yeah that's that oh I, I told you guys the uh, first person controller just ensure that um, your if you're gonna use this method we'll just duplicate um, the the audio one but if you're gonna use this method with the audio one uh, just ensure that your audio source is uh, disabled or removed or else you will be playing a lot of audio sources at one time and audio clips at one time sorry and it wouldn't sound like a game at all so just keep that in mind we'll just duplicate that and drag it out here and we're going to position it and we're going to change the audio to let's say Halo 4 team song and we'll hit play and we're already in the Halo uh, domain right now the where the Halo team song is gonna be played so as you can hear right now it's been played and the sound increases and as we leave it starts to fade off 
and we're out now and once we I'll just zoom in a bit for you guys this is the uh, first person controller down here so yeah I'll just select these tree stuff you guys can see the effect yes so we're inside we're inside the minimum distance and it plays very loud and we leave it fades off and we enter the halo domain the halo domain wrong side of us going yes you can hear the other audio clip being played in the background so yeah guys that's pretty much how you can actually um, use the uh, audio sources for in-game sounds it's pretty basic I know there's some other ways you could do it as well but I've just chosen this one you know because I think you can actually handle this uh, this way for using it for your game so yes that's pretty much that if you're wondering how I actually have this water in my game you c it's pretty simple all you can do is just go up here to assets and import packages and you'll select the water basic if you're using the basic the uh, free version of unity if you're using the pro version well the water pro will be available and you can just select that and import it in and it will be located in your standard access folder you just go to water basic and you just take it and drag it in your game there are two waters you can see this water and the other water that I have in my game is pretty different there's the day light simple water and the night uh, simple water that I'm using so you guys can uh, play around with those stuff yeah that's uh, pretty much that for this tutorial guys hope you guys like it hope you guys uh, import your sounds for your game and make your game feel a little more game like you know and uh, yeah if you like this tutorial you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in unity and uh, yeah in the next tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to add a score system to your game so once you kill your enemy score will shall pop up or will be displayed on your screen showing well you have a hundred points or ten points because you killed your enemy so I'll be showing you guys a simple score system in the next tutorial yes and uh, I not too sure if I uh, briefed you guys on this I uh, posted a post on uh, Facebook my Facebook page full gaming instincts and I asked uh, some viewers what they think about uh, a zombie first person shooter game and a few of them said it sounds like a pretty good idea and uh, they recommend me to do so so I will be making a zombie first person shooter game uh, tutorials and show you guys how you can actually go about making um, a sort of zombie cut zombie like kind of first person shooter game with the unity game engine so yeah you guys can look out for that this week and uh, yeah that's that once again hope you learned something from this tutorial if you like it give me a thumbs up if you have any problems and got any problems uh, whatsoever just comment below and I'll get back to you guys with the solution to your problems Do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and I'll see you next time until then continue making games guys peace